In module number seven up here on the screen, we are going to talk about the creation and the termination of agency. Now we've touched on the creation several different times and I mentioned it, express agency is cre created either oral or written in general. Now, real estate agency is obviously written. It's between the two parties. It indicates their express intent for this representation. It is a delineated, defined agreement between two parties that understand what their liabilities and responsibilities are. The second type is implied agency, which is created by the intent or the action of the parties. So what I'm telling you is, if you just go show a buyer a house, you have, in essence, acted like an agent. Therefore, you have agency. That is implied. Now, I've told you that both are agencies. Implied agency is just a bad one. It's still there. You still have all the requirements. You still have all the fiduciary obligations. It's just that you have not defined it, delineated it, or have, have it memorialized with the client or the principal. So you actually want to gear for express agency. That is the highest protection for you because it represents or it lays out exactly your duties and obligations. I'll market the property for sale. I'll you know get, get, gain access or allow access under this controlled method called the showing with a lockbox and a showing service and whatever. Implied agency still agency just not a good one all right so i think we're all pretty clear on how agency gets created it's the second you start acting like an agent you are a an agent for whom the person you are working for whether you have expressly captured it or by your action have created it inadvertently called implied so how do we terminate agency termination will well it begins at the onset of agency one of those two we just talked about either they sign the document or you start acting like their agent it will terminate by one of either an action by the party or an operation of law those are the two ways to terminate agency either actions by the, either one of the parties or an operation of law. So for example, you complete the agency. Once the purpose of the agency has been fulfilled, the agency relationship gets terminated automatically. So I joke about this and a lot of people don't get it, but when a buyer and seller go into closing, and the seller submits the deed to the buyer and the buyer reaches up and takes the deed whoop, properties transfer that is the completion of what our agency was supposed to do so agency actually is transferred right then so what i'm telling you is when you walk into a closing and you skip down the sidewalk holding hands with your buyer and you go in and the property gets transferred let me make sure I'm clear. Could be your seller. Maybe you're skipping down the sidewalk with your seller and the property gets transferred. When you walk out of the closing, technically that is a customer again because the agency got terminated once the completion of the agency was fulfilled, i.e. the property transferred and it transferred when the deed was delivered and accepted sitting at the closing table all right now you could have a mutual agreement both parties must agree hence the word mutual most of our contracts if not all real estate contracts are bilateral requiring both parties so if one party i.e. the seller says look dude i don't like the way you part your hair and the managing broker goes well the shirt you're wearing is ugly we want to terminate our listing, we can do that. The reason for termination is irrelevant, does not matter. 
That's the point I'm trying to get at, as long as both parties agree. Now, potentially possible, and I have in the past not agreed to release a listing. I know, I'm a meanie. But I've had several times when, like, the Monday or Tuesday after a showing house, a uh, showing house, what the hell is a showing house? <laughs> that just shows you my brain's going 14 miles an hour and my mouth's only going eight, and I'm already done with this course in my head because I'm way ahead of what I'm talking about. So let's just go through this again. <clears throat> there have been many times after an open house on the weekend, that's what I meant to say, an open house, and the seller said, hey, you know, I think we're going to want to terminate the listing. No. I have had several agents go through that have called me and said, yeah, we're going to write an offer. So we're going to wait till then. It is a mutual agreement. Death of the principal or the agent. Now, there is some confusion about this. And there are many different aspects that you could sit on your side of the fence and argue the court of law will usually step in and terminate the agency if one of the party refuses to do so now it's highly possible that if you're on the uh, listing side of this that that purchase agreement that you are under contract may not terminate it may bind the heirs or the estate to go ahead and sell on the selling side, if you're working with a buyer, I can tell you now, it's going to be hard for that lending institution to lend money to a dead person. So typically, it doesn't bind, but agency is terminated upon death of the principal or the agent. Now, remember, that's the agent is the managing broker, not you. You are representing the managing broker. Look in the room. Look how many of their are you yeah and there's more coming out every day so if you die during the listing and it's technically my client remember i'm sorry about that and i'll go maybe go to your funeral but there's more of you around i will just reassign that listing to another agent inside of my company because the agency is with moi the managing broker so it's the death of the principal or the agent where the key here to understand is the agent is being viewed by the state, which is the managing broker. One of the parties fails to uphold their portion of the agreement. That's called breach. If your seller refuses to allow you access to show the sale, to show the uh, buyer, or allows other buyers access, that is a breach of his fiduciary duties to you that you guys agreed upon when you listed the house. You could, in essence, go, oh, sorry, this listing's over. You breached the contract, and therefore, we are done. Your listing contract or your buyer's agency exclusive representation actually must have an expiration date. Most states, if not all of them that I've talked to, have an expiration. They are not allowed to have perpetual renewals in that contract. All right. So in other words, if it expires on May the 1st or, you know, what a pick a date, June the 30th, you cannot have that contract automatically renew the next day. You as an agent must go out and get a new contract. Now, there have been several questions. Yes. You can extend the listing date as long as you're still under contract when you do that. Very key to understand that. You cannot resurrect a contract that is expired. So if it expired on Monday and you go to them on Saturday and go, hey, dude, my contract's going, listing contract's going to expire on Monday coming up. Can we amend that contract to make it six more months? And the seller says, yes, we can do that. You can amend that contract. But if your listing expired yesterday and you go to them and go, hey, I want to amend that and change the listing date. You cannot do that now because that contract is already expired and you can't resurrect a dead contract. You would have to write a new listing that starts today and goes for six more months or eight months or whatever you want to do. All right. 
<clears throat> so there's another operation of law like insanity if one of the clients has been declared or adjudicated insane bankruptcy of either the principal or the agent if your company goes bankrupt that could do it divorce could also terminate that listing agreement because now they have to figure out how that's going to be in that estate and if it's a listing agreement destruction of the property might terminate your listing destruction of a property does not affect a buyer's agency agreement at all because we're not representing a client and their property all right so there are seven things that terminate a listing agency but there are only six that terminate a buyer's agency because destruction of the property has no effect or zero effect on a buyer's agent i literally have had this happen one time when i was under uh working with the, the century 21 that we owned i had a buyer we had an offer on the house and the house got hit by lightning and burned to the ground that listing expired was terminated but my buyer's agency was not we just went and found another property okay now what are the duties that survive termination we've talked about this and you need to understand that you have fiduciary obligations during your agency after agency is terminated you still maintain accounting and confidentiality in perpetuity accounting and confidentiality in perpetuity you cannot tell somebody they call you up and go hey dude we're getting close to clo uh, tax season i'm doing my taxes on the sale you sold my house last year you did a great job you're the best agent in the world and i say of course i know that um <laughs> but where's the five thousand dollars i was looking at this that earnest money i don't see it accounted for in this document you cannot say sorry dude you're not my agent anymore agency terminated no accounting stays forever same thing with that example we talked about about the guy that's getting divorced you cannot go use that against him you cannot use confidential information against him unless other things pop up like we talked about unless that confidential information becomes public unless he tells you you can so in those cases yes hey i'm losing my job i want to sell my house don't tell anybody because then they'll lowball me and you say okay that's confidential i won't tell people you're losing your job that's why you're selling now all of a sudden it becomes like i said the article in the newspaper hey so-and-so factory's closing down everybody's losing their job now that confidential piece of information is actually publicly known and you do not owe that loyalty of confidence confidence all right cool